Hello everyone, uh, this is Mwes Gwamgwa Bosco, head teacher of Wisdom Center, that is the Karumuna in Ibugesera district. As, as usual, yes, I'm your science teacher and I, I always come here to, to help you to go through uh, different activities. So today I'm again back that we do the same thing. So please candidates out there in different parts of, of the country, uh, feel free. Yes, always just go be with me. Let us move together. Your science teacher is back. Your teacher Bosco helping you to go through uh, different activities. So please stay safe at home. Don't be worried here and there. Uh, you are at home for your safety. So that's why for the moment I can't uh, fail to acknowledge the government uh, for this time they have uh, added yes for you to stay home is purposely for your security your protection okay so it's very important to keep your life to save your life and save the life of your neighbor so that at least the time you get back you start when the pandemic is all gone uh, we shall still meet but for the moment uh, we are here for you providing lessons keep moving with us how uh, you want uh, you want uh, you want to regret so today uh, simply we are moving ahead with our topic that we began last time last time uh, we looked at uh, uh, interdependence we, we were looking at animals depend on each other for survival simply in the environment and we found the very the, uh, most common component of the environment where you found that the plants Okay, we looked at uh, animals. Yes, uh, so we compared those major components of the environment. How do plants depend on animals? And then how animals depend on plants? We went ahead looking at the plants depending on plants and the animals depending on animals. Yes, that gave us a clear stand or background of understanding proper interdependence. So this time we are moving ahead, uh, looking at uh, more work. And then majorly today we want to look at common terms uh, used in interdependence. You might meet different terms as a P6 pupil, you're supposed to be uh, having a good stand. Okay, when we talk about animals, we don't just have to end there. Talk about the plants. We don't have to just to end there. We have to see how can they depend on each other. So uh, in this case, we have, uh, we have different terms that are really looked at when we talk about uh, plants animals depending on each other in the environment specifically living things depend on each other so uh, the first time we can look at here uh, let us look can be uh, at the producers <laughs> okay producers we have uh, some living things in the environment that are called producers they are called producers or referred to producers because of their nature okay in the environment then specifically, specifically they are able to make okay their own food in the environment so these ones are simply called producers so you can say producers are living things or living organisms that make their own food okay so producers are living organisms are living organisms one can say living things that make their own food that make their own food yes so these ones don't depend on food that is manufactured already they make their own food so these ones simply uh, uh, we look at this uh, in the environment if you ask them, which will be those living things and which can make their own food okay so remember simply the best example here are their plants so if you are asked examples of producers okay so the best example here they are plants yeah so plants make their own food through the process uh, called the photosynthesis remember we looked at that last time and it defined the photosynthesis as the process by which living things make their own food or manufacture their own food called starch. Remember, they can ask you in exams, yes? Ah, how? Simply, how can, what are the conditions necessary for plants to make their own food? Okay? Uh, yes, for plants to make their own food, simply we said uh, it's quite just easy for you. Uh, we said you can simply do this. 
If you want to get them easily, never forget this. Okay? If you want to look at this, uh, I can just give you just a guideline here. Or let us just have a sidewalk here. Because that's just coming in as a sidewalk. So when I ask you about photosynthesis, simply mention the four conditions for plants to make their own food. Okay? Uh, just simply we can list here. Okay? This kind of trick can help you. Okay? Simply this can help to understand those four conditions. So we can simply say wise children. This can be, uh, we can simply take this as wise children study chlorophyll. Simple like that. So you get your points. And the last one who gives you chlorophyll. So in talk of wise, okay, here if one says wise, this is going to give us our point. We can put here as let's say water. Uh, then now uh, for this, if you talk of children, this is like a sidewalk. Uh, this is going to give us carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Uh, and then now uh, when you come for study, S, yes, study. Uh, this one simply uh, study. Uh, this will give us as sunlight. Okay? Yes. Then uh, when you come to lastly, still we say this can stand for chlorophyll. And then it will give you as chlorophyll for C. will stand for chlorophyll. Okay? Take care of the spelling of this word. So simply, wise children study chlorophyll. This gives us the four conditions for photos to take place. So how can somebody in primary six, primary five, primary four? Yes, fail this. This is quite a simple example for you. So always, when you are there and under the ask, please write down the four conditions for plants to make their own food. Simply say, wise children study chlorophyll. So please, if you're there, you taught by teacher Bosco, you're all wise children. You can't miss these marks, okay? This number is ever for you free. So we can simply take that as, this is for you to guide you, please. Wise children study chlorophyll. So we can simply get this from wise, we have water, so the second point would be carbon dioxide. The third one from study would be sunlight. And lastly, chlorophyll. So the four conditions for plants to make their own food will be water, carbon dioxide, sunlight, and chlorophyll. Please, out there. My pupils, my candidates, father, my class, never should you that. Just keep that one with yourself. With yourself. Yes. So I uh, think we can now move ahead. So that has come in as a, by the way, we talked about plants make their own food to the process called photosynthesis. Simply we defined last time photosynthesis as the process by which plants make their own food. And there will be the conditions like uh, water, carbon dioxide, sunlight, and the chlorophyll. I gave you the simple way that you can be uh, using to remember that. Yes, uh, we can now move to the second part, okay? We have seen that plants are producers in the environment with that kind of ground. Now we can come to part B uh, of the second term, which is very common when talking about interdependence. Yes, so these ones will be the consumers. After looking at the producers, we need the consumers in the environment. So, consumers, Simply, consumers in the environment will refer to living things or living organisms uh, uh, that are depend on already manufactured food or made food. For them, they don't make food. They have no capacity to make to manufacture food, but they will all depend on already manufactured food, already made food. So these ones simply, if you look at uh, uh, in the environment, they will be the animals. So animals who depend on food uh, that's made by plants. So, so for plants make their own food. That's why plants are there because animals are there. So all you can see that plants, are get, uh, animals are going to be consumers. They will be depending on what plants have made. So we can simply define this. You can say consumers. <coughs> are living things. So you can say living things or living organisms, okay? <laughs> they 
that depend that depend on made food made food okay depend on already made food or already manufactured food so simply do that's why you can simply define the consumers so when you ask about uh, examples so the best example of the consumers in our environment there will be the animals okay so here you can give any animals any an any animal okay uh like goats will need okay goats will need a food made by plants okay talk of cows yes talk of man or what you can say humans yes talk with the chimpanzee very many okay you can say and put etc yes so all these you can find that are many of them animals with the environment okay they depend on already manufactured food so those animals majorly are called these are called the consumers for them they don't make their own food okay yes they will depend on food by plants they will maybe also feed on other small animals so these ones all they depend on already manufactured food so simply that gives us a very good stand about uh, animals like uh, consumers okay so for this we can go to the second part where we have uh, uh, the, the the animals that are that are called decomposers the third part yes so I uh, think if you don't mind I can clean this part yes decomposers okay so in de for decomposers here yeah, simply we look at uh, those living things that break down plants and animal materials okay they break down let's give an example if it's a uh, let's say uh, there are plants the animals you find that they're living organisms like bacteria they break them down like uh, you can find that uh, if it's a dead animal yes of some time you can find it has turned into soil what happened so once those plants and, and animal remains decay or rot there are some living organs which break them down okay those are simply called decomposers yes so we can say here that decomposers are living organisms or living things that break down plants and animal materials decomposers decomposers living organisms somebody can say living things okay that break down break down plants and animal materials Yes, this animal, these materials can be remains, animal remains. If it's a human body or they are non-humans, if they are plants, all these ones, once, let's say, yes, once, if the plant is cut on the ground, then those, there are some living things who will break them, will act on them to break them down into small particles. So that will be, uh, break down building to decomposing them. But it goes the process of rotting or decaying that's why we say that uh, these are the first cause them to decay okay so we can say nb uh, these ones okay this living organism they cause they cause these materials to decay or rot mm. decomposers cause uh, cause plants plants and animal remains to decay plants and uh, and uh, animal remains to remains to decay yes so once the decay or rot then they easily broken down into small particles so these are simply called decomposers so the decomposers the examples we can have 
the best example here will be the bacteria. Mm. Examples of decomposers. So here we shall have the best example here are uh, the bacteria. Okay? So simply bacteria we know it causes rotting or decaying in the in a, in a living the remains of living things. If they are plants, if they are animals, yes, so on. You cut, let's say you cut trees and then it dips on the ground. Once they stay for a long time there, they have to, they will, they will decay because of bacteria. Yes, if they are animal, if it's a dog or any animal, yes, that is, let's say, this which is the remain dead body of animals, yes, they can easily, they will rot because of bacteria and then get broken down. So we can simply ask which living things are cause decay in the environment? They are bacteria. Or which break down or decompose yes, other living things, living organisms, the bacteria. Uh, so this is clear. So from looking at this, we can uh, move ahead the third, the next or the fourth part uh, of common terms. So having looked at uh, the three parts, okay, of or the three common terms within uh, interdependence, which we had, uh, we have seen, uh, we have seen uh, producers, consumers composers yes we can look at other more two terms okay so as a primary six we need to beyond this we can look at some other work uh, which you need to take note yes uh, as students of teacher Pasco, it's very important at least to have an extra mile so from here you can look at another term as part b which is simply a food chain okay yes so a food chain this is very actually is to understand the way that uh, yes you see like as a chain it is okay on a bicycle on a motorcycle so a chain uh, which you can use to, to to join different things so a food chain is like a join so you can find the uh, the, the kind of feeding we join one is there because the other one is there one eats because there is something fast so that's a food chain so in this case a food chain we can simply define as a simple feeding relationship okay a food chain is a simple feeding relationship can I have this a food chain is a simple feeding relationship relationship okay Yes, and uh, now in this case, it's very important note when talking about a food chain. We're going to see one from one point to the next point. If one, one living organism is the living because one is living, then what should be the first? That's what is very important. So in looking at a food chain, take note of this. Majorly, a food chain starts with plants, simply because plants make their own food. So you can have this as a knot, okay, uh, a food chain starts with plants, okay, so we're saying starts with plants simply because, simply because plants make their own food or manufacture their own food. Plants make uh, their own food. <clears throat> so this is why we simply say that a, a food chain starts with the plants. They can ask you, why does the food chain start with the plants? Simply because plants make their own food. Okay? So we're looking at a, an example here. Let's look at examples. Okay, here. Example. Let's look at example of a food chain here. So you want to get, make a food chain, okay? You can let us have a here. And if you have, we say we begin with the plants. Simply, you begin with what is eaten to what eats to make a food chain. So you can look at it like a component of three examples of living things. All examples of yes, within living things. See how can they depend on each other? So. 
like this. So from plants, we can see what eats plants. Since we have plants, so what we eat plants, okay? Simply, yeah, if you have, let's say, animals, let's like, like, you can say like a goat, a goat, okay? Mm -hmm. So from there, we have got plants, so plants can eat vegetation, can, so goats can eat vegetation, can eat plants. So from now, if goats eat vegetation, which are the plants, now when you go to the third one, what will eat now the goat? So here we can talk about like maybe the carnivorous animal. Talk about a lion, talk about a, a jaguar, talk about uh, the dogs. So you can bring a lion here. You see? So this simply gives us uh, a clear understanding of a food chain whereby we say it begins with the plants because the plants make their own food. So once we have plants, goats will eat plants. Okay? Yes. Now, then from if we now go up the goats, so what do we eat now with the goat? This is now a simple meat. You see, you bring animal which can eat meat will now complete your food chain. Okay? Sometimes also we can also use bacteria because once that remain, becomes a remain, if they are humans or they are, un, let's say, they are other non-humans and they are dead, they are remains, the, yes, the composers can come as the last part there. Okay? So even here we can, yeah, even here we can add the composer to add them. So majorly for food chain, we can be looking at it in terms of the three components only, but always begin with what, what is eaten. So like plants are eaten, by, by animals like the, the herbivores. So let us have for part B, you can complete it here. Yes. If part B still we give, you're given the plants. Yes. So in this time, kind of case of plants, you can mention, let's say, any example of, of vegetation. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to go on mentioning the plants only, yes. Uh, uh, you can mention any example of vegetation. Let us say, okay, yeah. Can go easily, can change any term and say plants, but uh, it's quite easy. Not to say plants, you can say anything from plants. One can say vegetation also. Okay, let's see the word vegetation. Uh, vegetation. One can use the word grass. Yes, because it's simply referring to plants. So make sure that what you begin with refers to plants. And then here, okay. We can fill this here, what we'll eat here, and then last here. You can see fill here, and then fill in here. So in exams, you can be asked, okay, given, okay, the feeding ration should be above, complete it. So you're given maybe plants here, and then all vegetation, given, or you're given the grass, complete this. So what will eat, what, what will eat the so after the vegetation, then we will ask what now? If we, we get what can eat vegetation, so here, what can eat what eats the vegetation? So simply this gives you a food chain. Okay, they can add the part C for you to complete. Uh, so here, in case given to complete here, uh, I can have an arrow here. Okay, uh, to what eats here. Uh, yes, uh, we can put, let's say we put man here, okay, then we go to what will eat man, then we also complete here. So from here, you need to see, begin with the plants, you can write vegetation, you can write grass, you can write plants, you can give an example of plants, then what can eat that from here, and then what eats, what eats the plants. So simply we begin from what is eaten and to what you will eat. Like here as we said, plants simply are, are eaten by goats. But goats will be eaten by the lion. Okay? So uh, that one we can give, can be a very clear understanding on this. And we can now simply move the next part or last part. Of, of, of feeding relationship, where we shall look at a food chain, uh, sorry, a food web, that's part E, as the last common term here, so look at a food web.
Okay? Uh, simply for food web, uh, it has a simple difference from the food chain. For the food chain, it's simply a simple fading relationship. So when you come for the food web, you can say it's a compound feeding relationship. From the word simple, just have the opposite. Or somebody can also say is an integrated feeding relationship. So we get from different sources. Uh, so you can say food web is food web is uninterrelated. Uninterrelated. <laughs> Feeding relationship. Feeding relationship. Mm -hmm. So simply, we are saying a food web for food web is an interrelated feeding relationship. Okay, or one can simply take it as a complex or compound feeding relationship. In this case, we are going to have animals getting or living things getting feeding from or depending on others from different sources. So it's interrelated. So there is a a combination of more than one, okay, which is different from the food chain. So here we can look at uh, examples here. The example you can look at here, uh, looking at uh, a food chain, a food web. They can ask to complete. So a food web here, we can be given here, maybe let's say cow here. Uh, down here we are given, let's say goat. Uh, should we say, let us have grass. Let's have grass, okay? We are given grass, uh, and then here, yes, man, because man, you find that it's, it's, you need to majorly go find it be basing getting from different different sources. It's a, it's a omnivore, so will be. Let us put man in the middle. Omnivores can be in the middle part here, okay? Man, pigs, those ones, and then, okay. You can have hen this side, okay? Uh, and then from there, lastly, let's have grasshopper here. Yes, uh, grasshopper. Yeah, so uh, what do you call the interrelated feeding relationship? Meaning there is more than one source of, of, of feeding or dependence. So like here we can check, Remember, as we said, eh, the arrow begins from what, what is eaten to what eats. Okay? So from here, if you ask to complete the feeding relationship below, what do we do here? You get your arrow from what is eaten to what eats. So if you have grass here and you have cow, so what can, of the two, what can eat the other? So the animal, the cow will eat grass. So we begin from what is eaten to what eats. Okay? Yes. So we can keep joining the arrows here. If you check here, if you have man and cow, so what eats? Man will eat cow, will eat meat from cow. So meaning the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats. Okay? Yes. Uh -huh. And then what we check, when we check here, we have, uh, move ahead, you have the hen and man. Comparing hen and man and man. So here, what eats the other? Okay? So man it will eat hen, will eat chicken. So you can say the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats. Okay? So if we can keep joining here. Yes. Still, check here. Grasshopper and hens. Of grasshopper and hens, what eats the other? You can see the hen, okay, will eat grasshoppers. And then arrows begin from what is eaten to what eats. Okay? Mm. So from grasshoppers to, to hen. So we can now still add, check more arrows here. If you have here for this case, we have uh, grass and then grasshopper. So grasshoppers will eat grass. So remember, the arrow begins from what eats to what it is it to, the arrow begins from what is from what is eaten, okay? To what? <coughs> yes, yes, from here, the arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats. So grass is eaten by grasshoppers, okay? 
Yes. I think we can have more arrows joining here. Check here, grass and man. So man eats grass. The arrow begins from what is eaten to what eats. Do you see? Uh-huh. One more? Yes. Uh, so for this, let me leave you for this to complete still. Yes, in your checking on this, what do you think we can add here more? Yes? Check, add this, add an arrow here. Be, remember, from what is eaten to what eats. So you can at least complete this. You can be asked to complete this uh, feeding relationship. So for this case, uh, you are left to complete, to see, to add the arrow there, and then uh, we see what's remaining. Yes. So uh, for this lesson, uh, we have covered common terms used in, a, in a interdependence. We began with the producers, and then we went to uh, consumers, from there we went to uh, decomposers, from decomposers we went to the food chain, and then came to the food web. So from here uh, we can end here for our case of our lesson, but we will be having different activities, different questions. Yes, as uh, we move on. So what you do, you check on, uh, we have different sources of the questions, because if you need to get them, what you have to do, keep watching BTN TV, uh, follow, check on YouTube, you'll be getting these questions. Check on uh, our websites, Wisdom Center websites, you have questions about uh, this topic. So uh, this will help you to go through your work and keep yourself updated. So we end here. Thank you.